Hey guys, it's Enzt here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to uh, animate <coughs> FPS hands like a pro. So, um, people have been asking about the new version of Blender, um, because I did make an animation tutorial in the old version, but yeah, they said there's a lot of things they want different, and you get different weapons, so um, I'll be animating this M4, and uh, I'll try to go a bit more in depth with what I teach you guys. <coughs> so, the first thing, I'll be doing is setting up my space, so uh, I'll be dragging this bar here, so you just wait till your mouse is uh, changed, move it up, and right click, um, vertical split, and just click um, just anywhere, and change this view here to 3D viewport, and change the view to active camera. So now I can see what I'm animating. Um, yeah, so uh, I won't be giving away the arms, but I did download the gun off online if you want it. I'll probably link it in the description. Um, yeah, so I'll get straight into it. Um, this I'll try to make this beginner friendly, but it it gets pretty difficult. So. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment and I'll answer them all. So, yeah, so the first thing I do is I click my hands and I hide them. And next I select the main gun and I start creating the movement with that. So, let's see. So, the first keyframe I want to be at the start, so you select the main bone, select press I. Um, what I do is I set my key to loco, uh, location rotation, so this means if I move it and keyframe it, it won't keyframe the scale, but it won't uh, keyframe the rotation and the location. And I will set it on auto keyframing just this button here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just going to drag it to 20 and just uh, just see how I want it to be in the shot. So I'm going to do my first keyframe dip out there. So it's going to transition from there to there. Obviously <coughs> these are just the beginning stepping stones of the animation. So it's going to go there and then you can have it move the mag down a little bit just like that, it's going to hold just put it into the keyframe there with I and make the gun go up maybe rotate it a little bit in like that and grab the first frame uh, click on the first frame here Control c Control v and just press play. Obviously it is super slow because um, we haven't adjusted time yet so uh, what you want to do is you want to go here to the second um, icon output properties and click on frame rate and make it 30 fps. Cool. So this is what we got so far. Now we're gonna set the end here to um, 80 so it doesn't like, so we can just watch it over and over again if we click play. Um, so those are just the basic frames. Okay, so next we're going to adjust, we're going to zoom in with the scroll wheel and use the middle scroll wheel, you click on it and you hold it down to move it left and right. So, we're going to get the timing for this. So depends on your animation and your style, you want to adjust um, where the keyframes are, you just left click drag them. So uh, I'm going to make a quick animation, I won't get too much in depth or it'll be way too long. Cool, so got about 46 frames. you want to keep adjusting these. Cool.
Cool, so that's the first stage of our animation. So we just want to save this. Just going to call it the tutorial. So next we're getting our in-betweens. So from here to here, that's not very realistic. We want to we want to give it some weight and realism. So the way to add weight is you have to imagine yourself with the gun. Obviously, the gun doesn't just rotate from one position to another. And the thing about the force that the mag needs to get, you know, the magazine out. Obviously, some guns don't need any force at all. You just press a button, but you know, we want to give it a nice little kick. So instead of just throwing it going like that, we want to give it some momentum at the start and then throw it down quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move back a little bit and then move it up. So it gives it a little. Mm, Just rotate it down. Move this forward. And you want to keep um, a nice arc going. So if you want to get better animation, I would highly recommend watching um, the 12 animation principles. And it'll give you really good understanding. <coughs> really good understanding of how to animate and, you know, how to correctly give weight to things. Um, I'll try to explain that as I go. So as you can see here, if you watch this point, it's like one nice curve. And it, yeah. See, honestly, it's all about watching it over and over again. It does take time. Um, so obviously, you kind of just start picking out things, a bit nick picky. Oops. Oops. And you can adjust the timing, of course. So you might notice, you'd be like, well, why is this happening? You know, you, one frame will be fine, and all of a sudden it jitters, or, you know, your animation might be look, not looking very smooth, but each keyframe is makes sense, or there's a weird twist, something happening. You need to use the graph editor. So over here, I just go to graph editor, and you have all these lines. So if, if you really know about the graph editor, I'll put like a time where you can just skip, but I'll quickly explain it. So here is the properties of this bone. So if I go to the first frame and go to the fourth frame, move it up, you'll notice this big you know jump here. So you want to most animation with characters you can control through the graph editor. So if I move this here, if I just drag it up and down, it'll move you know, left and right. So if it's moving too much to the left, or if you can see here, it's got a weird rotation. So you want to find the rotation, which is this red one here, which is our X. So you want to get, oh, where is it? So this one, yeah. Something's happening here. Let me find the rotation. Sorry, I'm a bit used to Maya, so give me a minute. That's fine. Cool, so it's this one here. And if we make this bigger, you can see that big um, jump. So we want to make it nice and smooth. We're going to delete that keyframe. And this will smooth it out a lot. So. 
So this curve should be a lot better. Obviously now you get this weird uh, rotation happening here. So it it's a lot of nitpicking that you have to adjust. Um, but I'll, I'll try to make this as quickly as possible. So instead of instead of using keyframes, so if I want the gun to go up here, instead of using keyframe, it's definitely best to use the graph editor. It's just so much better. It makes everything nicely clean. Um, yeah, I definitely wouldn't add keyframes unless it's, you're starting the animation out. So I'm gonna move this up. Oops. So now it's going up. Well, not really, actually. Cool. So that should be good enough. Um, now we've got this weird rotation happening here. We want it to go down. So. What we have to do is find the rotation on the graph editor. And honestly, I just find it by clicking random things. It's just, I don't know, that's just what I do. Um, and don't be afraid to just move these along. It, so once you start messing with the graph editor, you'll notice that this becomes super messy. There's keyframes everywhere. Um, at that point, you just have to stick with the graph editor. So we got our first bit here. Now we got this weird rotation going on. Let's see. It's the blue one, which means it is this one here. I'm just going to take that keyframe. Maybe add it, make it rotate. Uh, let me see how to. So, uh, so I'm I'm used to the old Blender. I'm not really sure how to. Ah, okay. So to add a keyframe on just one rotation, you select the rotation you want. Press I with your mouse over the dope sheet. I uh, graphed it. Sorry. Press I and select the chunks, and then this. Come with a line. Cool. So now we've got this cool little drop going. It's a bit fast. Uh, let's see. So if I want to adjust the speed, um, what I do is I select all my keyframes, find what's a bit going too fast, or you can select, sorry, that made no sense. So I'm going to select 
old ones in the uh, timeline here. And uh, let me see. Hmm. Used to be able to adjust these before by scaling them, but I'm not too. Ah, oh, yes, you can. So to make it faster or slow, you select the uh, frames you want. Obviously, modify. You press S with your mouse over the timeline and drag it out a little bit. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, that's better. Now, instead of having the animation play just straight away rotating from here, we want it to hold for a minute. So we're going to get this frame here. We're going to press I. So it's the entire, all the um, properties. I'm going to copy it over and paste it. And obviously drag these ones along. Okay, so that looks kind of boring how it just rotates like that. So we're gonna fix that. We're gonna bring it up. Oh, we're gonna bring it up. Um, give it some sort of momentum. And of course, we're gonna have to adjust all this in the graph editor. So we just need some uh, momentum. So we're gonna when it when it goes down and has a little break here, we're gonna add some movement in this area because obviously it doesn't just stop moving. So um, I'm gonna have to maybe bring it back a little bit. Just move it down. Give it a little bit of rotation. And now we just have to smooth out this from here to here, we've smoothed it out. I'm going to adjust the timing of these a little bit so that bit is a bit smoother, uh, longer, sorry. And we should go to our graph editor and smooth out the curves. So it's about right. So the the Y translation, when it comes up, it kind of just goes, starts moving up instead of doing it smoothly. So, we'll find our Y translation. If I can find it, let's see. Hmm. Okay, so, <laughs> so I don't know why it's all the way over there, it's kind of weird. Um, so, we're going to. Make it a bit more mellow, I think. Um, I'll delete that frame and this frame. Delete that frame as well. The least frames. If you can get it smooth with less frames, that's probably the best. Okay, so obviously, I don't think uh, I've been uh, uh, animating the wrong one this whole time. <laughs> uh, that's a bummer. Oh, well, so, gotta find it. That happens, mistakes happen, so it's okay. Um, let's see. Rotation. Hmm. Could be this one. Okay, so I think it's that one, so we're gonna delete that frame. So 
So obviously, um, it's kind of hard to make a like direct tutorial on this because if you want to animate a different style and you know adjusting all these points, just uh, you can't really talk about each point and what it does. It just takes too long. And um, I like my tutorials fast, so if you do have any questions, remember to ask and I'll answer all of them. Um, Alright, so I think it's the rotation uh, going this way. That's what my problem is. So if you look, um, it just kind of rotates weirdly when it should should have started about here. And it starts a bit late, so we're going to find the rotation for that. I think it's this one. Oops. Yep, so I'll delete that. Keyframe, move it back a bit. And to do this, uh, you hold control, middle mouse, and up and down. You drag it up and down. Now I'm going to make this a uh, nice smooth transition. Oops. Copy this frame. So I'm copying the frame to keep the rotation from going straight uh, like this again. So I'm going to click this one, copy it, and get my timing. Just control V, and then I'll go. Uh, boom. So let's see what we have so far. There's a little bit of a weird pause here. So if you notice, it just kind of bumps from going down to going up like that. So we have to smooth that out. So it looks like this frame is pretty pointless. It's not smoothing the curve. Um, if there's a little bump like that in your graph editor, best to remove it. And if you do notice a difference, just undo it. Undo, uh, uh, undo the keyframe, delete, and uh, let's see, I don't know why there's one over all the way down here, it's kind of weird, but, so this makes it move forward a bit, so, hmm, I'm going to delete these two keyframes. Little copy there. So it doesn't do anything. Sometimes you have to play around to find like the sweet spot. It's like sometimes you'll just get a key and edit it a little bit and it makes it like a lot better. Um, So I think what it is, is my rotation going this way, stops. So if you like, it just kind of stops. So we have to find that one. Um, it's not that. That one. Should be the X rotation. Nope, so what if I just rotate it like this? Um, I think it might be this green one here. Okay, it's the green one, which is weird. And uh, then I can delete that keyframe as well as this one. 
So what I did with uh, these frames is I noticed the, uh, what's it called? This way rotation starts a bit late, doesn't really, it goes up, and then goes left, and you know, it should be, it should start doing it a lot earlier. So I delete that keyframe, and it, you know, kind of blends in, so. So it's just basically one fluid movement. movement. Obviously that middle bit isn't looking very natural. Um, I'll probably get the rotation to start a lot earlier for this way. See which one it is. Okay, so I think it's this one here. <laughs> so yeah, this is definitely a time consuming process. I'll try to speed up the bits that aren't like very uh, important, not which is taking too long. I should go forward a bit. Um. Ah, uh, blend is so confusing sometimes. There we go. Okay, so I think... Uh, It's weird, I don't know what's... Something just doesn't seem right. I think... There's some weird movement here, I think. It goes up and then just kind of stops. And it's not very smooth. What if I delete that here? So let's find the Y rotation again. Oh my gosh, man, this gets annoying sometimes. I think that's why. Oh, there we go. So that should be like one smooth. Okay, now it's moving to the right for some reason. Oh, I'm so confused. Okay, this moves up. Okay, I'm going to delete that, and that's fine. Okay, th and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to 
hide all these, you just left click and drag all these and select the ones that I only need, so X location that's weird, it's, this is the thing with uh, blend that it's, it's quite confusing, so the red arrow isn't red here, it's moving up and down um, yeah, so it's a bit that's why I'm a bit confused. I don't think it used to be like that. What's this one? So let's move it back and forth. And this one moves it. Okay, so the Z, saying up and down, moves it left and right. It's quite strange. Maybe, I don't know if it's to do with the model or something. But yeah, you can see it's got some weird movement. So I might just delete these two keyframes. Just yeah, so that's a lot better now. Now I think this movement I'm not really happy with. Delete that. I'm still going to keep the rotation like that. It should be, okay, so I figured green is blue. So, yeah. I feel like this has uh, become a video of me just struggling at this point. <laughs> What I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little pause. So I'm going to copy the frame um, from the rotation here and I'm going to start it a bit later. Obviously, uh, make sure it's nice and smooth in the graph editor. I don't know if I'm... Must add a bit later. And make sure, if you can, give it a little bit, make sure it's not 100% flat. Um, give it some sort of curve. Because obviously it would never like stop 100%. And I'm not really happy with the angle, there's way too much angle going on. And also, when it comes up, I'm not really happy with that either. So I'm going to just make it, keep it here. So I'm going to select all these. Actually, I'm just going to Click this frame here, copy it, and paste it, and just smooth it out. And give it like a little bit of a jitter, so when the mag hits the gun, uh, it gives it a little uh, emphasis on the clip going fully into the gun. So it gives it a so right there, maybe a little bit more. And obviously I'm going to copy this frame. Paste it on this one and make it go up and to the side a little bit. Rotate it a tiny bit. And so now we've got to do the last bit there. I'm going to extend it out a little bit. 
set my end frame to about 55. Okay. And now for the, don't forget to save your work by the way, uh, for the last bit I'm going to give it some momentum and some realism here. So what I like to do after this bit, what you do instead of just moving from this point to this point, if you if you do that in real life, you don't, wait, um, you don't do this at all, it looks weird. You give it. You drop the stock first, so drop the stock, so like that, and then it goes down, just like that. That one keyframe adds like a whole, um, I don't know how you say it, gives it more, way more realism than what it was before. And you can see when the mag goes in, it kind of looks like, you know, something's actually hitting it. Um, pretty happy with it. Uh, I'm gonna keep the rotation. What if I do that? That's a good keyframe. So this needs to be smoothed out a tiny bit. And I'll move that out. And when it comes down, we want the hand to grab the gun. So we're going to rotate this about like that. And hide these, find which one. So. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So this is a job for the graph editor. Again, let's see. So here we can see that weird jitter, so this is obviously quite smooth. You want to add a keyframe. Um, somewhere and make it just a little, give it a little bit of movement. A bit of latency, I guess. Um, but still make this curve nice and smooth. And drop this tiniest bit if I can do it. Let's see. Alright, sweet. So we're obviously gonna have to move this last frame out a lot. And this one. Ah, uh, I'm not too happy with that to be honest. Okay, so I, for the tutorial, I think this should be enough to give you guys a rough idea of what it looks like. Obviously, it could use a ton of work, like my other, one yeah, my other tutorial, but uh, yeah, that should be enough for the uh, gun movement. So I'll leave it there. So next, we add the magazine movement. Um, so obviously, we just and just find where the mag comes out. About here. Insert a keyframe. And just give it about three frames to drop out. Just like that. Insert a keyframe. And now. I'll do just a. Pretty uh, basic animation, so I'm gonna get this frame. 
Get this frame from the mag. Actually, I don't think so. Okay, so we're going to remove all the frames from the timeline that we don't need. So, obviously, the first frame we need. This one, this one. So we can delete these three frames. These three frames. Sorry. Oh no, my bad. Interesting. Uh, before they used to have um. Uh, what's it called? Let's let's see. The dope sheet. That's the one. Um, but I really don't know the new version of Blender, so. I'm just gonna skip on that for now. Um, so we want to drop the, the gun. Boom. So right, right there. So we're gonna instead of moving it manually, we're just gonna set the location to zero and. It will sit to where it's meant to go. And we're just gonna move this down. There we go. Just really basic. Uh, don't forget to save your work. Okay, cool. So we're gonna animate the hands now. Um, so we want to go to object mode, unhide our hands, and let's see what the heck is happening. Delete that frame there. Um, cool. What the heck? <laughs> Something's going on. Hi. Okay, so I just have to fix that up. And, uh, yeah, so now everything's working properly. So, first thing I'm going to do with the hands is I'm going to uh, find where the hand needs to come off. Oops. Find where the hand needs to come off, so it's about here, so frame 7. So what I'm going to do is in my constraints for the hand, um, I'm going to keyframe them both. And I'm just going to turn off the influence for uh, the location and the rotation so now it will just kind of do its own thing um, and you might be wondering why this is changing here when we didn't we only keyframed it for 11, so by frame 7, it should, be, it should still be 100% on frame 7, so, yeah, that's better. But here, we're just going to make the hand go down, just drag it out of the screen, and give it some rotation. And obviously, we don't want it to just drag down. We want to give it some, you know, make it look like he's actually letting go of the weapon, not just uh, dragging his hand out a bit. Um, I'm going to copy this frame. This is seven. So 
uh, on frames here, we're just gonna select all our fingers here, keyframe them, and make them go a bit wider, uh, and then link, uh, extend them, so it looks like it didn't go up again. Da -da. Okay, now it should look like it's letting go of the gun a bit more. Okay, so now our gun and uh, magazine and gun off the screen. So we can do what we want with them. So I just go to any frame and we're going to uh, select our movement control and keyframe both instances. And same with the rotating. And then you go to the next frame and set them both to. Um, oh sorry, set the rotation to follow the magazine rotation. So now it's getting controlled by the magazine. So we can make it grab the magazine, and then we do the same thing to the movement. Magazine. So now our hand is fully controlled by the magazine. So make it give it like some nice uh, grip or something. Okay, so I just uh, cut the video and listened to my mic and oh my god, it sounded bad, so hopefully it sounds better now. I don't know, it, uh, it's always, I always have issues with it, so yeah, anyway, um, now that we have done that, now our whole hand is controlled by the magazine. So when we put it back in, it just goes back in like that. If you want, you can do something cool, so you can do this keyframe it here. Put it from the side and make it come up. Give it some cool style. And I don't know, just something cool, I guess. Um. So, just get the magazine, and I'm getting the dope sheet for the magazine. I'm going to copy this frame. Oh, I should probably. Okay, so I want to copy the first frame. Copy that. It should be like that. But the. Oh man. Okay, I'm just gonna set the rotation. Reset the rotation. There we go. Okay, so you can see that it kind of just snaps there. So obviously, again, we have to use the graph editor. Um. There is a lot of stuff going on here. Let's see. Uh, also, a little tip with FPS animations is um, just because you can't see it in the camera doesn't mean you shouldn't animate it. Because in games, if you're using it for a game, and the person changes their field of view, they'll be able to see the hand. So make sure that's all done up nice. But for this um, tutorial, I'm just not going to worry about it. 
um, so we can get it done faster. So anyway, that's, I'm just going to leave it like that. And once it's in, see how that looks. Get the timeline. Alright, let's see how that looks. Yeah, pretty good. So when it starts coming down like this, that's when our hand gets reset. So how do we reset it? So we got to uh, select our hand bone. We keyframe the influences right now. Uh, the frame we want it to go back and just turn the influences off completely for both of those. And just move it up a little bit. So you know, it kind of looks like it's going back. And then about here, we set them to 100. Pick any frame, and you can obviously adjust the frames, stuff like that after. Okay, so now we just need to get the first frames from each of these and keyframe them. Uh, select the first frame, copy it, and move it to the second. Ah, uh, not second, I mean move it to the end where you want the fingers to. Kind of um, sit. Okay, so obviously that could use a lot of work, but for this tutorial, I think it should be fine. Now, if we hide it, it should look pretty good. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do it, guys. It's it's really easy stuff. Um, obviously, getting used to the graph editor and getting used to you know, how to create movement uh, and realism uh, it takes a lot of time. You know, uh, each have to study it and learn how to you know get the proper movements, use your hands, do gestures, you know, things like that. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want other tutorials, please let me know. I'll uh, try and make some more in the future um, and yeah thank you so much for watching and peace out